I have been successfully printing out this from the CR10 laser engraving tools. The process is uh, now so smoothly because the software the CR10 the creative company provide is not really working. I need to find uh, a lot of work around to uh, make this possible. So let me show you the process. It's finished quite nicely and uh, there's a little bit not paint on the underneath because I move around the pin, the pad for the center it and you can see it's not really centered. This is the first Z code I got uh, directly generated from their software from the creative. The problem is they're using the uh, fan speed to control the laser beam on and off, but on the G code they don't have the function to uh, turn on and turn off the laser beam. Still can't get the right G code to work because the laser beam will not stop on the middle for the Y part. So always turn it on the laser beam. So it's just like in, like filling the black. So eventually, I uh, contact their technical support from the their Fai online store on the China market. At the beginning, the ordinary custom support don't understand the problem. So they are switching to another technical custom support to uh, follow my case. But I think this so-called technical uh, custom support still don't really understand what their problem is. But uh, long story short, they email me a G code that's uh, really working. But they don't know what's the problem of their software. So I testing the G code they send me. It's a tiger, and it's actually uh, working. I increasing the speed from the A to uh, seventeen. So I figured out there must be something different from the G code they sent me, uh, the Tiger G code. So I open up the uh, G code they sent me, the Tiger, with the test editor, and the, on this side is what I generated myself from the software Creative uh, provide. So you can see the difference. Uh, I believe the here the NO fee should be mean uh, the laser beam should be turned off and, the, and here the NO5 should be mean the uh, laser beam turning on. So compare the Tiger G, G, uh, G code, you can see the uh, this free line should be replaced the uh, NO3 and the, I, I believe the 750 means the fence is turning off and uh, here should be mean the uh, fan turning on full speed. So the seven seven five hundred means should be mean the fans so, uh, fully speed. And uh, the what they do on the fan in the fully speed means uh, this has been turning on. So you can use any test editor software. So uh, we just come here selecting this free line. Then we copy it, and on this side we select the NO3, then we go to a fun and replace. We type in here the uh, NO3, then we uh, paste the, those three lines here, then we just click replace all. And you can see uh, all the NO3 already replaced by this free line. Then the next thing we need to replace the uh, NO5. Before we replace, I uh, need to care out this line. So otherwise, we, it will be uh, replaced by the mistake. So we copy the this free line. Copy, 
and we paste here, and we change this uh, character to NO5. You can see the NO5 already been selected. Then we keep, uh, replace all. Because so many, it will be take a little bit time. You can see uh, right now it's already been uh, replaced all. So this is ready to uh, do the engraving. So you just click save, and it's all done. The, the new G code should be work fine for the uh, engraving. We go to prepare and go to the move the asset. And go to the move uh, one millimeter. Go to the move uh, C asset. You can see the moving, and uh, we move it to the. 90. So this is a 90, move up. The design is using the uh, magnetic to just attach to here. I think I need to attach the cable, otherwise the cable move may be moving the, moving the head out of the alignment. Then you need to put on your uh, safety glass. You can see uh, after you turn on the fan control, there's a laser beam shooting out. They say you need to focus here. There's a full burning mark on here. So you can see it's uh, already turning. We can try to load up the painting. It doesn't uh, come to the right homing position, so I think I move into this side. First, we control the fan speed to make it 255. Then the laser is turning on. Then we adjust the focus. Focus on. It will be burning. So after set up, you are ready to pin down. So just load out the Zico file from your SD card and starting pinning. You need to set the X and Y movement quite slowly. So normally I recommend that you set to the 30. It also can be set very slowly around uh, 8 or 10. Because the slowly it's moving, uh, the dark hurt is burned. Or otherwise if you want to uh, burn through the some kind of paper, you maybe need to uh, testing how slowly it's moving to actually can uh, burn through the paper. After this, I will show you how to use their software to do the G code from your own design. It's quite tricky because their software is only available in Chinese version. So I will have some translation feature available for you to know which button to click to make the 
she called for your only son. I have prepared a PDF of the translation and step-by-step -step instruction of the software for you to follow. So you can either pin it out or put it on the screen aside to follow it. It's more easier for you to look on the instruction rather than remember what I show on the screen. The link of download this PDF will be in the description below. So after you uh, open a new document, you click insert new picture, then you need maybe need to uh, resize, adjust the uh, position of the picture. When you're OK, hit the uh, uh, generate G code, then this window pops up. Then you can uh, adjust the contrast if you need. After you're happy about it, you hit the uh, uh, generate the G code again. And this window pops up, then you can hit the uh, uh, save the G code. So uh, you type your uh, file name, you, what, what file name you want to save, and you click save. Then the G code appear, but it don't have the uh, end of the file name, so you need to add the dot G code find it yourself then it's done you can use that G code to uh, modify so finally let's talk about their software provided from the uh, creative and after you open the software on the top I think you can see there's some Chinese character so let me translate to you you say leading street technical nerd Lisa Engraving G code producing tool, and uh, on the middle, there's some kind of a company name and uh, some uh, social media promotion ID code or something. So, this software is generally nothing to do with the uh, creative company. And I believe they just grab this software by uh, don't know where do they get it, and uh, I don't believe they have any uh, legitimate copyright of the software because they don't even have the source code of the software to modify anything. Because as they are distributing this software, they are actually promoting another company. So someone say, uh, hope the creative company will fix this uh, software problem in the future. But I don't think this will be uh, happen in any time. I go to their uh, Chinese online store to check the issue. The CR10, they're selling around uh, nearly 500. But the laser engraving kit, they only selling uh, 35. The, the laser engraving kit, they only selling uh, very little uh, quantity. It doesn't really justify for them to uh, develop the software for the laser engraving kit themselves. So what you get is what you pay for because their hardware is selling uh, okay, so they have some uh, modified cure software for their uh, 3D printing. But they are, this uh, engraving key is selling quite low quantity. I don't think there will be any effort to uh, making their software. And also, as I reading the review of the this uh, engraving key, the review also from other customers also say they are encountering uh, some same kind of problem. Most of the customer support don't know much about the technical issue, and I don't think they bother to deal with it. So this software, besides it have random placement, uh, it needs you to uh, modify the G code yourself. The biggest problem I think is that uh, it doesn't fully use uh, the 3D printing area. It's only have uh, 11 to uh, 19 centimeter. So I will uh, try to find some alternative software later on. In the meantime, I will provide the uh, downloading of this free file for you to uh, use. The link is in the description below. One of the files is uh, the PDF uh, for the instruction. 
and in the middle one is uh, uh, laser engraving software uh, query provide if you don't know where to get it. And on the right is uh, the Tiger G code which is working. Also, you can using the G code to copy the uh, the part you need to uh, modify yourself. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for your watching. And if you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.